For centuries, the dolphin lived happily in this environment. But the time would come for it to evolve again, and man was driving the pace. The first major attack was the building of six barrages between 1932 and 1971, each one dividing the dolphin population into smaller families. Once they were free to roam from the fertile plains to the delta, but now they were imprisoned, forced to share the river as man encroached further and further into their habitat. They would have to learn a new set of skills if they were to survive their toughest challenge. The Mohanas, with their boats as their floating homes, have shared the river with the dolphin for generations. Having lived with the dolphins for so many years, the Mohanas have come to respect the creature's place in their lives. With the Mohanas mostly living in the canals off the river, it's the local fishermen in the main stream who could have more of an impact on the dolphin's survival. Just time before the fish were there. Water was more than enough. Today, the fish were able to get the fish out of the water. That's why the fish were made a dog. They were able to get the fish out of the water. They were able to get the fish out of the water. Okay. That's right. ਆਸਫ਼ <laughs> 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 Local legend portrays the dolphin as a water spirit, and as you journey down the river, people sing of the creature's mystical powers. Although the dolphin is no longer a source of food for local people, it still faces many other dangers. 
Man's intervention is sometimes required to ensure its survival. मेरी सिंध वाइल्ड डिपार्टमेंट में जो एंट्री है वो ना 1986 की है तो उसमें सबसे पहले जो मुझे नजर आई चीज जिसको इम्पोर्टेंस दिया जाना चाहिए वो से इंडस ब्लाइंड डॉल्फिन थी तो मैंने इस पे ज़्यादा फोकस किया और अपने गवर्नमेंट ऑफ सिंध को इसके बारे में खास तौर पे एक याद याद भेजा कि जी ये एक यूनिक स्पेशीज़ है जो दुनिया में सिर्फ हमारे पास पाई जाती है तो इसको बचाने के लिए हमें कुछ रिसोर्स या कुछ फंड्स दिए जाएं। जाए द मानसून द रिवर्स एंड इरिगेशन कैनाल्स फ्लो फुल टू द ब्रिम बट सीजनल चेंजेस मीन द वाटर लेवल रिड्यूसिज ड्रामेटिकली इन द विंटर When the water starts to dry up, these dolphins penetrate the lateral irrigation canals, where they live quite happily until such time as the tap is turned off and the canals dry up, and then then they die. To save the dolphins, rescue operations were launched with the help of local fishermen. With no training, however, and little support, not every mission was a success. We have rescued about 13 to 15 dolphins from 1995 to 2000. We have rescued about 13 dolphins during the rescue. We have rescued about 13 dolphins during the rescue. We have rescued about 13 dolphins during the rescue. We have rescued about 13 dolphins during the rescue. तो बाकी हमारी जितनी सिस्टर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन थी डब्ल्यू और आई तो ये लोग वहाँ पे उन्होंने इंटरेस्ट लेना शुरू किया In January 2000, we went on the first rescue operation, and that's how I got involved. And I remember I was just sitting on the bank of a canal and recording the surfacing interval of a dolphin. I remember was the time and the first time I saw the Indus dolphin. I just fell in love with that animal. वो हमारे पास आए उन्होंने हमारे रेस्क्यूज में पार्टिसिपेट किया और इस तरीके से फिर हमने यू पाकिस्तान को अप्रोच किया जिन्होंने हमें स्माल ग्रांड प्रोग्राम से एक प्रोजेक्ट दिया जो कि 2000 से हमने उस प्रोजेक्ट के तहत वो रेस्क्यूज शुरू किए इंडिविजुअल्स मेक ऑल द डिफरेंस द इंजन इज द लोकल पीपल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लाइक यू एन डी are constantly on the lookout for those individuals but we support them with financial logistical and organizational work this backup was crucial and with training and new techniques rescues are becoming more successful but they're fragile creatures and danger remains at every stage of the operation <laughs> with little known about the species every opportunity to learn more is taken while also trying to minimize the amount of time the dolphin is out of the water It's essential to keep the dolphin wet at all times. The drive can take as long as 3 hours and the rescue team tries to keep the creature as relaxed as possible. Thankfully the traffic noise is too low pitched to upset the dolphin.
the operation was a success, and with the support it's now receiving, the Sindh Wildlife Department returns around 30 dolphins every year back to the relative safety of the river.